Okay, friends, Windows 10 computer tips. Tonight we're going to talk about the MRT Microsoft Removal Tool and how to get to it in Windows 10. <clears throat> Go to Start here, type in MRT. Right click on it and run it as administrator. Now, MRT is basically a malware removal tool that's built into, that's built into Windows, Windows 10, Windows 7, and Windows Vista. Okay, so when you first see it here, it'll say for you a list of software that the tool attacks and removes. Okay, there is online documentation on it. If you want to find out what it removes, here you will see a number of malicious malware. Okay, they've all got different names. And if you want to really Google each one individually, or highlight it and write it down, Google it or open it in your browser, you can actually read what the malware does. And that way you'll learn that wee bit more. Okay, so click OK. Click Next. Okay, I would recommend that you run it in a full scan. Okay. Now, it probably could take hours to run, so it would be advisable if you're not using your computer to basically run it on a full scan for the first time. And click Next. Okay, the tool is scanned your computer for revealed on malicious software and removing any that is found. After the operation is complete, the tool will provide you with a report of malicious software that was detected and removed off your computer. Now, most people ignore the uh, the report. Most people ignore, even if they're on an antivirus program, most people have to say a quarantine or whatever. They don't care. And what I actually do is, whenever an antivirus program removes a piece of malware or malicious software or code off my computers. I like to write it down and I like to do a bit of research on it to find out what it's for, what to use it for, and what port it uses. And that way you learn that wee bit more. But that's just something that I do. Now the normal 5 8 just runs it and hopes for the best. Okay, so Windows 10 tip on how to use your MRT, your Microsoft Removal Tool. And this is March 2019. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, anybody wants to make any comments below the chat, please feel free to make comments. There is other tools you can use, and other standalone tools you can use off the internet that won't interfere with your normal antivirus program. But I'd recommend that don't download them unless you know exactly what you're doing. Okay, friends, thanks very much.